Hey, so we just released a couple new features that have to do with contact buttons. But before we get into those, I want to show you a little bit, recap what contact buttons can do, and then we'll get into the new features. So first off, the idea behind contact buttons is to present the data that you've got all assigned with this contact in a different format. Um, however, you want to arrange it inside of your form here. It'll pass this data along here, as well as you can then fire off whatever action you want when that form is filled out. So, for example, you could fire off uh, a review sequence or you can fire off um, some people send postcards, things like that, um, based off of this. Um, another thing that's really cool is that you can even send this data. You don't have to send it back into this guy's account. You can send it into another uh, account. You can send it to a job form. You can send it anywhere. Anyway, so there's a full uh, write-up in here uh, inside the solution library that will explain what this is, as well as give you a script that you got to read it, but basically um, to really get the most out of it, you have to put this script on one of your forms here. Next up, I want to show you um, how a lot of people are using this right now. So um, high-level is really based all around tags, right? So like the idea is that you would use a tag to fire off a different workflow or to control whether or not they're getting a nurture sequence or things like that. So um, normally you would go, you know, you tell your client to come in here and just type in uh, a tag like hot and then they would add that tag. Um, but then they have to remember typing it and they have to go into this area with the tag and so what we've got is you can actually build out these contact buttons up at the top. And now when you click once retail, not only can you say, you know, com confirm that this is the case, um, but it'll just automatically add it. Um, same with like hot, this just added hot lead. And these are very easy to set up. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that in just a sec. Um, and it automatically saves it with the contact. So you can really get into this. It, this is more of an advanced topic. And if you know how to use high level and workflows and automation, your mind is going, whoa. But uh, if you're not there yet, uh, just know that there's this possibility. So now I want to show you something really cool. And this is the latest feature. So if we go to our contact buttons, uh, there's a new thing in here. And that is toggle. So with toggle, you can actually add and remove a contact button. So let's do an example here for a nurture campaign. So what you would say is uh, nurture on or off because this is when the tag is not there. And then we'll say nurture on if I can spell nurture. All right. And then this one we'll say we'll have an, an icon here for off. And this one will have one for on. So, and then I'll make this more of like a, uh, we'll go like that and we'll make this be more of like, I don't know, more of a on, right? So that works. Um, and one other thing to note, like if you want to get advanced with this stuff, you can actually have it use a CSS selector and then you can have like consistent styles across the board there. Um, all right, so once again, we're enabling toggle here, and all you have to do here is now just say nurture. And now, the way the customizer works is you, now that we've added this, you just hit publish to live. Then you go over to your high level and refresh, and it automatically works. So now we're going to see this contact button pop up here, and uh, it'll allow you to turn it on and off. All right, so I, I probably didn't pick the best color to go along with all the color scheme here, but you'll see it says nurture is off. And let's look at the tags here. And this does work in the conversations area as well. So let's just remove these. We have an auto save feature coming out here very soon. Anyway, so you've got your tags here. Um, now, if we add it to nurture, you'll see that goes over there like that. 
there it wasn't doing what it was supposed to for a second there we just fixed something but um but yeah so anyway to finish this i don't want to have to re-record this whole video here so uh, when you click on it adds the nurture tag and when you click off it uh, removes it and it visually indicates it to the person um, when they land on the page so this makes it so that you can control uh, the workflows uh, in a visual fashion for your people and really build this out and name things the way that you want it to. So there you go, guys. If, uh, if you have any questions, of course, hit me up on Facebook um, or on uh, Slack if you have that. Um, and then if you have not signed up for high level or if you're looking to upgrade to SaaS, definitely let me know um, because we have some amazing affiliate incentives uh, that beat everybody else's affiliate incentives out there. Uh, and uh, we'd really love to have you under us so that we can give you some discounts and some cool things like that. So till next time, see ya.